Today we have a new game that's coming out and I need to tell you about it right away because the packs are going to be dropping soon. I'm very excited for this. This is... Hear that? Must be the Mecha. This is Mecha World. Let's go ahead and check it out. I'm excited for this because this is brought to you by the same people that made Cosmic Clash. And if you don't know, I am hooked on that game. That game is so much fun. And this is their second game. They're making three in all. And I've read over everything. I like what it stands for. And in this video, I'm going to talk to you all about it, let you know how it's going to work, and let you know when to get in. The, the secret is pretty much right now. So let's go ahead and talk more about it and give you a good in-depth idea of the game. I also have one pack to open just to give you an idea of what's available. Welcome everybody, my name is Kevin Smack and as always I am not a financial advisor so please 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 do your own research. I do want to thank FGL for sponsoring this video, definitely appreciate it. They are going to be doing a giveaway for a starter pack so if you are interested in this game go ahead and comment something about this game that you like down below and go into the discord Put your YouTube name and your Wax Wallet address and I'll match them up with a lucky winner and whoever gets it gets the starter pack. So good luck on that. Before we get started, I want to open a pack too because it's just it's just there and it's only one pack. So let's go ahead and open this up real quick. See what we get. This is from Drop One. I did buy it because it was really cheap. For some reason, someone just wanted to sell a pack really cheap. So I was like, mine. Hmm, for some reason the pictures didn't show up. Let's check in inventory. There we go. We have a Mecha Body Canine Iris, another one, and Prime. Nice. So we got three actual mechas to already work with, and I'm shooting for eight, at least eight, because that's kind of where your energy will max out. I don't want to get ahead of myself. Let's go ahead and jump in and talk more about this and if you're wondering how you can get involved there are some packs on atomic hub however there is a drop coming up here and this is probably going to be very very soon when this video goes live right now it's one day 15 hours this is going to go live in about 13 hours so right about a day after this video goes live there's going to be this drop and these are the packs that are available you have the small starter pack which is basically what i just opened but keep in mind that these packs are not going to have as many parts as the previous pack and parts are a little more hard to come by. Then we have the medium starter pack. We have the large starter pack and then the owner pack 2.0. To be honest, I might have bought an owner pack if I didn't miss the first drop because it was a little cheaper. There is a land stuffed inside that pack, which is very nice. We'll go over what lands do, but there are going to be 50 of these available. And once those are sold out, then we are out of land packs. So that second drop will take place on May 4th. I can't believe we're in May already. This is crazy. Time is just flying. These cards look awesome. It kind of reminds me of like, you know, these bright, vibrant colors on metal just looks cool. <laughs> There's a lot to this game and I like everything I've read. So let's go ahead and dive in. If you're wondering if I'm going to be playing, I am going to be playing this one. Yeah, I really like Cosmic Clash. So if I like that one, I have a feeling I'm going to like this one. I'm very excited for their third game coming out in the future future as well, because it's going to be a fishing game. And I'm all about that, but let's not get ahead of ourselves. So let's go ahead and check out the white paper and let me explain everything going on so you can understand. So a mecha does start with the body. The body is like a solid casing that can go ahead and do the quest for you. And you can kind of get different parts, add them on and get more reward and also do better in battling when you are battling in PvP. There's a lot going on here. Now, first, we're going to go ahead and get into questing. Questing costs energy, which will freely replenish over time. When you do a quest, you have a 50% chance in the beginning of getting FGL token, and that rate will increase as you level up. So make sure you're leveling up your mecha body. And you also have a small chance to get an NFT, which will also go up as you level up. 
So you can think of it like you're questing for tokens, but you can also get an NFT, kind of similar to Alien Worlds, if you will. The questing does cost energy, so there are going to be some times where you have to wait for it to recharge. And this is just so it doesn't get out of hand. The mecha base is affordable and widely available NFT. So the body of it is very affordable. The parts is where it starts getting a little harder to find. And these parts you can add to the card, which is really sweet. The thing about these parts is they do wear out and they do need maintenance. So you do have to repair them from time to time. If you don't repair them, they will kind of break. You can't use them anymore once they're broken unless you pay a lot extra. It's 10 times the amount it would have been if you didn't break them. If you wait that long, it's gonna really cost a lot to get it unbroken. And this is just to keep everything going in the game to make the lifetime of the game more sustainable. Because if you don't have sinks like this and things to slow things down like the energy, then the economy is just gonna go crazy. And also, when you need these parts installed, you need to go to a workshop. A workshop is one of the two buildings people can build when they have land. If you have a workshop, you are getting a percentage of all the workshops together. So all of them cluster together and then they split the percentage. So that's very nice. You don't have to worry about like promoting your specific land over and over again because you're all just going to get an equal cut the next day. Obviously, the more you upgrade these mechas with parts, the more reward you're going to yield, the more NFTs, the more tokens you'll get. And there will be PvP as well. Arena is going to be the other thing you can build on your land. You can only build one. You can build either an arena or a workshop. And again, it is all shared together. You can also demolish this building if you ever want for free, but then you have to pay for a new building. If you notice that there's barely any arenas and there's a lot of workshops, you can switch it up and start making a little more. Here's the basic game loop for you. I'll keep that on the screen for a moment just so you can get an idea. Basically, you're leveling up your mecha body and then you're either questing or you're battling. If you're battling, you got to pay the arena fee. And then if you win, you get FGL tokens. And if you're questing, then you go ahead and get FGL tokens. You might also find NFT parts that fit your mecha body. And then you can go ahead and put them on there on, with, through the workshop by paying the workshop. Here's some quick questions. I thought these bullet points were pretty nice to have. So I'm just going to go over it real quick. What can you buy with FGL tokens? Workshop fee? add parts to the mecha body, also maintain parts. So you're also paying for maintenance, which is nice because that's reoccurring. And also upgrading mecha bodies, buying buildings and PVP battle fees, which are planned. What to buy with wax, mecha bodies, parts, land, build a workshop or arena and FGL token. What to earn from questing and battling. XP, you're leveling up those bodies. And if you level up those bodies and you sell it, those levels stay. So know that they don't go away. You also get FGL tokens. Those are awesome. I'll take them if you don't want them. And NFTs, which are mechas and parts. So take notice, the FGL token. It's not like you have five tokens in one game. Instead, you have one token between three games. For example, if I want to buy some tokens so I can go crazy in Cosmic Clash, I'm going to, and that's going to make the price go up. Now you have this game. If you need token inside here, you know, it's going to keep going and it's really going to make all the games go well. And if you don't know, I am going to be buying FGL tokens because I need it for my Cosmic Clash because I'm very competitive and I need that all the time to be high up in the ranks. So I earn those great prizes. If you're interested in seeing more on that, I'll link a video up here that we did with FGL as well. Questing, there are going to be three types, you know, 15 minutes, hour and a half, and four hours. There's the energy cost and the parts wear, and also the XP gain. And then you get 50% chance to yield a small amount of FGL token. Now, each level you go up, I believe that goes up 1% till you hit about level 50. And then at that point, you are 100% and you can go up to level 99. And this portion is an idle area with the quest. You can go ahead and just 
start to quest and then the timer ticks down and you get the result screen after that. Now, as I mentioned, energy is going to be something that's important. You are going to need it to go ahead and do your questing. So the energy is limited. Players get four energy points per mecha with a maximum of 32. Holding more than eight mechas is possible, but it will not increase the maximum amount of energy. You get 0.25 energy points are regenerated per mecha per hour with a maximum of two points per hour, which would be eight mechas. Now you can bring this down if you do get a battery part, it will save on energy. And that's a nice thing. I would try to get batteries on all of my mechas personally, because then you are going to be able to send them for more quests, earn more, and you know how it goes. This is also going to have an auto questing feature. They figure bots will be in the game. They are just going to let everyone have the option. So if you just want to click auto quest, it'll just quest for you. Every time you get your energy back up, you'll go ahead and quest, which is very, very cool. Now you do still have to log into the game once in a while and claim things, but it's really nice. You can give it a break and just let it run. It's also worth saying that this part does not work with battling. Battling is going to be different and you're going to need to battle while you're at your computer. Also, while it is questing, the item is gone, so it can't be battled with right now or it can't be sent to the workshop to fit parts. You just have to wait for it. Basically, sending mechas on quests is free, but FGL tokens are needed to upgrade the mecha body and to pay the workshop fees for fitting and maintaining parts. It's also the currency to pay battle fees and can be won from battles. And of course, it says here the FGL token is limited by questing through the energy system to avoid token flooding. Next, we're going to have battling. And I have to say, coming from their other game, they do very well with the battling in that game. And I really like it because it's basically leaderboard PvP. You're going against people, you win, you move up, and then you get better prizes. I'm really curious to see how this one's going to look, especially because it's really honed in on this. This is going to be one of the major features. So several types of battles will be added to Mecha World to offer variety of gameplays. Shortly after launch, we'll introduce the first PvP mechanic based on popular dice gameplay. So this is going to be Mecha World Dice. This is pretty awesome. It's basically you are rolling dice to try to beat the other players. And there's different kinds of dice. There's the scoring dice and the power up dice. And each die has a different amount of options on it. So the first one has goes up to four, then six, eight, 10, 12, and then a 20 sided die. And you can roll these dice and get different options. Basically, your goal is to have the highest accumulated score at the end of the session. But certain dice you can roll and you can do certain things and these are what they are. Then the second part of your turn where players roll their power up dice. Each number on the power dice corresponds with a special ability. So here you can see the different ones and they are pretty crazy. Rally allows a reroll of one of your own dice. You can torment, unlock a locked die from an opponent of your choice. And you can make them reroll at some places. You can add a point, subtract a point, you know, lose a point each turn for poison. There's a bunch of different features. And this is going to really come into, you know, the thought process of the game and who you're going to choose, especially when they're going to have one on one on one on one. Everything's immediate except for Rally and Joker. How do the parts fitted on the mecha impact the game? The combined strength of the fitted parts dictate how many times the power dice may be rolled per battle. So each player, even if they have no parts fitted at all, may roll the power-up dice one time per battle. So as you get more built up and you get more parts fitted, you can roll more dice. So this kind of gives you an idea of what you're looking at. Now keep in mind, each die goes up with how many sides it has. So that's going to be big because that's also going to give you more of an advantage. Because you're not just getting, you know, you're not going from a four sided to uh, two four sides. You're going against a four sided, so four sided with a six sided. So instead of being able to roll a maximum of four, now you can roll a maximum of 10. And I know it sounds a little confusing, but it, it really isn't too difficult to figure out once you kind of get the flow of it. 
It's really neat that they're going to have this built in, and this is only one way of going through and battling. At the end of a round where one player has locked all their dice, the game ends. The total score of all dice accumulative determines the winner. If other players did not have all their dice locked yet, the value of the unlocked dice of their last roll is added up to the total of their locked dice. So I don't want to lose everyone here and keep going on that, but I think you get the general idea and we'll see more how it works when the feature is brought in. Of course, upgrading, I did go over a few things of this already, but we'll show you the level. So as you go through and level up, you get different levels, you get different options for how often you find an NFT. So yes, the drop numbers are low, but they have to be low. If they weren't low, everyone would be getting NFTs all the time. But as you level up your mecha, you are able to get better rates. There it talks about your XP per battle. Quest 1, medium 4, long 8, and then battling 5. No matter loss or win. And then this here is still going to be um, data coming. So this is just kind of dummy values for now. And then we're talking about the mech body. The mech bodies are going to be very available and affordable because they want people to enter the game and not have a problem getting into the game. So because of that, these bodies are going to have some very cheap options so you can get in. We started the game with all canine mecha bodies only. There are 36 variations, all equal in stats, but some more common than others. So they're all equal. They just look a little different depending on their rarity. And then here's the parts can be found during quests or bought on a marketplace. And we already talked about adding them. We'll show you this here quick. Give you an idea of what's going on. All the parts that can be added. Mythical is not going to be started in the beginning of the game, but may be added in the future. So we'll see if that is added in later. And I love when they talk about the processor speed. They talk about qubits because that's from quantum computers. And I thought that was a really cool thing. <laughs> And then they just go into some numbers here. And then parts durability. I already mentioned about how that works. Some NFTs will show on the card when you add them and others won't. Picture is one of the six base models with two visual traits, body and color. In total, there are six. So you'll see the side weapon, the shoulder weapon, the back weapon, tail weapon, and later to be added, the mouth weapon. So here are some examples of the ones that would be added. And then if you look at the big picture, you can see he's completely stacked with all that gear. I would not want to go against that guy. And it's basically saying there's 36 different ones. So your combinations are 86,436. That's pretty crazy. <laughs> the ones that are not visible on the card do still affect the value of the card, though. So the card will go up. As far as land, you're looking at 100% for commons, 110% yield for uncommon, and 120 for rare. And here are the breakdowns of what the drop rate is in the packs. And we already explained kind of how it went over. It says upon game release, mecha ratio will be close to 1 in 40 as the player base grows. This will change to 1 to 80. It means land will be 80 times more rare than mecha bodies. When needed, more land will only become available through pack drops. Land cannot be found through questing. So it does look like they will be adding more land in the future, and they're trying to keep it uh, 81 with the mech bodies. We already talked about the workshop, but they do talk about the fees. 10% fees for workshop owners is split in the pool, as I mentioned earlier, and then arena is going to be 5%. And again, if you have uncommon, you get an extra 10% of that. And if you get a rare, you get an extra 20%. If you have land and you have a building on it and you do not log in for 30 days, your building will decay. This is to make sure people don't just forget about the game. So you do want to log in and you do want to check things from time to time. That is Mecha World. I'm excited for What are your thoughts? Are you playing? Are you preparing? What's your take on this? Let me know down below. Don't forget to enter the giveaway. And I really thank you for the view.